The scale of devastation is clearly immense and I think you know, the magnitude of disaster is such that it would test the most season of governments also in the developed world. So I think that's important to bear in mind because this is a government that is actually quite well prepared for this type of disasters. You know, the Philippines are exposed to this type of uh, um, weather hazards. You know, they've had 24 cyclones last, last year. Um, the government did evacuate 750,000 people. Yeah. So there was a lot that went on before the crisis to prevent the loss of lives. But now, you know, they're faced with an incredible task, you know, with a logistical nightmare. And it's really, really difficult to get the aid going at scale because, you know, so many roads are impossible, impassable, so many runaways are not landable. This is what is slow in the aid operation. Of course, there are challenges to capacity, but again, you know, in the region, they are increasingly better prepared to this, this type of, uh, um, of disasters. Uh, and we are seeing it, you know, in terms of the role that the government is trying to take. But as I said, you know, it's daunting, it's very difficult. But I think the, the international community really needs to resist the urge to, you know, be affected by the savior syndrome, as I call it, you know, to come in and think that they can, you know, duplicate these structures, they can do better, they can do without the government, because actually that will only worsen the response.